Hey everyone, Johnny here again. So, I got some new gear and I got a new haircut. No more really long hair. See, I don't look like a hippie anymore. But on with uh, the title of today's video, I got a brand new Leatherman OHT. Uh, the OHT stands for uh, one-handed tool. Uh, I do have a leather Leatherman. I have a rebar but I'm not sure if I ever made a video about it, but I will once it hits the one year mark and it's pretty close to it. And the reason why I got the, the new Leatherman is because of the fact that uh, it just looks cool. And I, it was on sale during uh, Labor Day actually. I was thinking about getting the Wave, but for me, the Wave just, it didn't really appeal to me. So I got this leather, Leatherman on a tactical, what is it? Tactical gear or something like that. It's off, it's on, it's on, uh, I'll, I'll put the link on the bottom. But here's the Leatherman and let's see what's inside it. It comes with uh, the instructions and the Leatherman. And then it comes with this little pouch. And for this pouch, I know when I ordered it, they asked me what color I wanted. It comes in either the black or the coyote color. And yeah, pretty much it's a pouch with a molly back. So you could put it, strap this onto like your molly backpack or, you know, you can even put this on your belt. And then here's the Leatherman itself. And the main reason I got, I wanted this was just because it's a one-handed tool to where I didn't have to, you know, open this up and everything. And basically there's a button on both sides, press it down and then the plug, it comes out. Now I got these in like the black and coyote color and I think it looks pretty cool. See? Now, with all the tools that come is, of course, the pliers. And then, let's see, here's a little saw. I'm not sure what these little saws are good, good for. I mean, on my rebar, the only time I've ever used it was like, you know, uh, to saw like branches that was as big as my pinky. But if you have a branch as big as your pinky, you could just break it. The only thing I could think that's good for these type of saws is maybe for a PVC pipe. And then here's a, here's a, like a seatbelt cutter thing. And then, and then these I do like a lot. Uh, it's also good for wires or like straps, things that like, uh, things like, like nylon fabric. It's great for cutting. And then here's your Phillips screwdriver right here. And then here's a little bottle opener right here. And then I think that's about it for this side. Now on the other side, here's a knife. And then these usually come very sharp because I know on my rebar, uh, when I first got it, I was actually surprised how sharp they are. And then from my understanding, uh, Leatherman, they actually use the 420H steel. It's actually a cheaper steel, but I never had any problems uh, using it to cut the things I need. Like basically, mainly the only stuff I've ever cut was um, cardboard and like stuff from Amazon. And then here is just a regular screwdriver. Okay. And then here is another knife. And then this one is serrated edge. See, 
This is actually really, I really do like uh, these serrated knives. And then over here, I know it's uh, a little bit dull in the front, but these things are really good for uh, also uh, cutting nylon straps. I mean, this thing will really dig in and it comes actually very sharp. And then here is, I don't know what the hell, a little pride thing, I don't even know. But here's another tool. And then other than that, this comes with like wire strippers right here. And then I do know that uh, one of the main reasons I got it for was because I do know there's a there's something in here where um, let me see there is something in here where I could use it to attach uh, stuff for like brushes and stuff to clean my gun. But the thing is, I'm not. Really, I just thought it was cool. I'm not really gonna attach anything to it just because. Well, I have rods and stuff like that to clean my, my, my rifle. But this thing weighs, I think about nine ounces. So it's a little bit heavier than my rebar, but uh, to me, it's, it just looks cool. You know, for me, when I buy stuff, it has to have the cool factor in, put into it. And then, oh, and then over here, if you can see right up here, there's a little gash into it. And then over here, it's so that this way when you're cutting, uh, taking the wire, you could use it to take the plastic out when you're, I don't know what it's called, like stripping the wire, I guess. But other than that, I do like this. And for some reason, uh, this, Multi-tool is very dirty. Like my fingers are already kind of black, if you can see. And this is just from playing around with it right now. It was clean. So most likely I'm gonna put some CLP on it, clean it up a little bit, oil it up, and then I should be good to go. But anyways, short video on this. Uh, Let's see how this thing works for me for a year and then I'll do a review video, but I will do in a, be doing a review video soon for uh, my, my Leatherman Rebar. I, I actually like it a lot, but right now uh, my Leatherman Rebar, I just keep inside my truck most of the time. This will most likely be uh, going with me in my EDC bag because uh, I go, so this way, wherever I go, this goes with me. And yeah, one-handed tool, pretty cool. Oh, and then another thing that's really cool is over here, if you can see. So if you, over here, see, I, once you flip this uh, a little bit and you press the button, the pliers don't come out. It's actually a lock. And then flip, it, flip the switch back again so it's all uh, horizontal and then it comes out. So pretty cool. Now, if you, found, if you find this even remotely interested, interesting, please leave a comment or hit like. Uh, other than that, uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.